we kick off our roundup of day 24 at Stade de Gerland, where Leon crushed to a second successive 3 1 defeat, this time against Lille. The northern side took the lead through Aurelien Shedju in the 28th minute. Former Leon man Florent Belmont then made it 2 0 on the stroke of half time, before both sides scored a penalty in the second half. Leon coach Remy Gard concedes that his side have work to do. We need to do two things, show solidarity and simply get back to work, rather than look for excuses. I think that individually all of our players need to have a look at themselves, the younger lads as well as the more experienced players, whether they're big, small, right-footed, left-footed, and that goes for the coach too and the staff. I don't think it does any harm from time to time. Above all, we need to keep our feet on the ground. In Sunday's early kickoff, Marseille held on for a one-all draw against Evian, in spite of going down to nine men. André Pierre Gignac opened the scoring with this blistering strike in the 50th minute, after a fine one-two with Mathieu Valbuena. An eighth goal of the season for Gignac and an eighth assist for Valbuena. Marseille were reduced to 10 men and Evian awarded a penalty when Kasim Abdallah brought down Saber Khalifa and was shown a straight red card. Yannick Sagbo converted and, in spite of another red card for Jordan Ayew later on, the score remained 1 all. In Sunday's other game, Rennes claimed a 2 0 win at home to Toulouse and were given a big helping hand by keeper Ali Ahmada, who gifted the opening goal to Roman Alessandrini. Ahamada going from hero to zero. After all, it was he who scored to lose his dramatic late equaliser against Rennes in the home fixture back in September. Alessandrini with his tenth of the season. Five minutes later, the hosts added a second as Abdoulaye Sané squared for Mevlut Erding to thrash home. A ninth goal for the Turkish international and Rennes flying high. Another European pretender, Saint-Etienne, cruised to a 4-1 home victory over Montpellier in spite of some extreme weather conditions. Brandao got the ball rolling with this strike in the 13th minute with an assist from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The Gabonese international then doubled Levers' lead with an outrageous back heel on the half-hour mark. His third goal in three games and 11th of the season overall. With play having been suspended twice, Saint-Étienne sealed victory with a fourth goal in the 75th minute. On loan PSG midfielder Mathieu Bodmer heading home. Levert coach Christophe Galtier was clearly impressed. I appreciate that the conditions were very tough, but I won't hide the fact that I'm delighted with this victory. It's one to savour. We scored four goals and we beat the champions of France. True, the conditions were very much at the limit, but I really want to applaud the attitude of my players and the performance they put in today. I also want to say a special thank you to the substitutes who didn't take part in the match but got up and helped to clear the snow off the pitch. Paris Saint-Germain got their weekend off to the ideal start on Friday with a win at home to Bastia. Jeremy Menez opened the scoring in the 57th minute with Zlatan Ibrahimovic appreciating the strike from the bench. The Super Swede eventually came on for Kevin Gamero and scored PSG's second from the penalty spot. That brings his total for the season to a remarkable 21 goals in 21 appearances. Goals from Wabi Kazri and Ezekiel Levetsi followed to make it 3-1 at the final whistle. Ajaxio built on their excellent victory over Lyon last weekend with a win at home to another European contender, Bordeaux. The game's only goal, courtesy of Ricardo Fatti, was this superb bicycle kick in the 31st minute. A wonderful strike which sees Ajaxio pull five points clear of the relegation zone, while Bordeaux dropped three places to seventh. Nice missed the chance to go fourth in Ligue 1 as they were held to a draw at home to Lorient. The visitors opened the scoring through Lucas Mareke, the Argentine chipping deftly over David Ospina in the 75th minute. But Nice had the final word with Valentin Esserich sweeping home an equaliser seven minutes later. One all, the final score. In the first of the day's relegation battles, 19th place Nancy were defeated at home by 18th place Reims, although the hosts did open the scoring through Sebastian Puigronier, the most prolific defender currently playing in Ligue 1 with 19 goals. 
France equalised in some style through Togolo's international Floyd Aite, who has just returned from the Africa Cup of Nations. Ras are no doubt happy to have him back. A superb strike here for one all. Aite then turned provider for substitute Odair Fortes. Ras with a 2-1 win, their first since the 6th of October. Coach Hubert Fournier hopes this will mark a turning point. It's a great feeling. It's been quite a while since we last tasted victory. To see everyone in the dressing room so happy, it's just fantastic. And I think I really hope that this win will give us the strength we need to keep going in this championship. We're still here and we're not finished by any means. Valenciennes claimed their first win of 2013 at home to Brest, who slumped to their fourth successive defeat. Mathieu Dossavi opened the scoring for the hosts with this crisp drive in the 10th minute. Captain Rudy Mata then added a second on the stroke of half-time, though he was given a sizeable helping hand by Brest keeper Alexis Thibault. In spite of numerous chances, it was only in injury time that Brest pulled a goal back, as Florian Raspantino swept a cool finish past Nicola Penato. 2-1 the final score. In the other relegation battle, Trois and Socho had had a goalless draw at the Stade de l'Aube. On loan PSG forward Jean-Christophe Bayerbeck with an attempt for Trois here. Socho created the better chances, but couldn't find a way through, with this Riyad Boudabou's attempt summing up their evening. Their best attempt came courtesy of Vincent Nogueira, who saw this superb drive turned behind by Johan Turum. All the results from this 24th day with a total of 26 goals scored. Home wins for PSG, Saint-Étienne, Valenciennes and Rennes, and only two away wins for Lille and for Rance, their first in Ligue 1 since 1978. Paris Saint-Germain are the big winners this weekend. They've opened up a six-point gap at the top of the table. Marseille make up one point on Lyon, while Saint-Étienne and Rennes are three points further back. Lille's win at Lyon keeps them in the top half. At the other end, Nancy and Tois swap places once again, but both are still five points clear of safety. Evian remain ahead of Socho by virtue of number of goals scored. Wins for Valenciennes and Ajaxio see them up to 11th and 13th, respectively. A look ahead to day 25, which gets underway at the Grand Stade when Lille hosts Rennes on Friday. Saturday sees Marseille welcome Valenciennes to the Velodrome, while on Sunday, Lyon travel to Bordeaux. Socho and PSG round up proceedings on Sunday night. <laughs>